yes first of all uh, you know, uh first of all introduce yourself so good evening sir i am renu i am from jaipur district rajasthan i have passed my graduation in 2013 in commerce stream along with i cleared my ca inter and soon after that i joined my article ship for one and half year and then from 2016 to 2022 i worked in a private company so i have six years of work, uh, working experience in a private company and my strength is i am a, a good learner and i according to me i am a multitasking uh, person because i have two year old uh, my two year old son and i am managing my personal and uh, study life very well and my weakness is that uh, i don't have i am a foodie i can't control uh, over food but uh, now i'm uh, like improving this uh, we uh, improving this habit okay and so that's it and uh, why you uh, don't complete your ca you have done your ca inter only no why you complete the ca finals no sir i didn't complete my ca final uh sir due to some family reasons uh, my father was not well that time so i had to quit and join some private job you said that ke you are managing your studies with two year old son what uh, now what you are studying now uh i was preparing uh, actually last year also i wanted to apply for this post but uh, the last date gone so that's why since then i'm i was preparing for written exam of bpcl okay what do you know about the bpcl bpcl is a psu public sector unit and uh, it uh, it got uh, it got maharatna status in 2000 september 11 2017 and the uh, it's uh, it uh, delivers the product like uh, lpg cng and keros diesel petrol and speed and speed 97 and its slogan is uh, energizing lives do you know anything about the international standards of accounting sorry sir international standards of accounting yes sir in ies yes accounting stand okay sir yes sir i know yes, little sir. uh can you elaborate it in brief okay so accounting standard are issued by uh, ica on the recommendation of central government according to section 133 and we have uh, we have total 33 accounting standards and it is applicable on a company whose net worth is more than 2.5 billion million hmm. what are the basic uh, difference between international accounting standards and the indian accounting standards mm, sorry sir i don't know about Two standards are different. Okay, and what is the difference between cash flow and fund flow? Hello. Hello. Cash flow. Uh, even here, our cash has uh, been uh, from where we have received cash, and on what activities yes, yes. we have spent. Hello. Am I audible? Yes. Sir? Yes. So. cash flow is a statement which defines uh, from what which activities we have received cash and on what we have spent so it is clearly a statement of uh, inflow and outflow of cash and fund flow is related to uh, capital items like uh, uh, if uh, uh, share capital issued then we have received cash and if we have uh, purchased some fixed asset then we have spent cash so it is related to balance sheet items and cash flow is related to current uh, like current related items according to me what changes uh, have been made in the company act 2013 as compared to 1956 
sorry sir i didn't get your question my question is what changes what updations are there in companies act 2013 as compared to uh, companies act 1956 So your voice is not clear. I think there is some network issue. Yes. Hello. Are you able to listen? Yes. आवाज़ आ रही है बेटा. Hello. 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 सर आपकी आवाज बीच में अटक रही है कुछ हेलो यस सर यस सर नाउ ऑडिबल तो माय क्वेश्चन वाज कि व्हाट आर द अपडेशन इन कंपनी एज कम्पेयर टू नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स इज द हाउ वी प्रेजेंट बैलेंस शीट अर्लियर द नोट्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स सर अब अनेक्सर की जगह नोट्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स आ गए हैं एंड आपको पहले ये था कि एसेट साइड एंड बैलेंस लाइब्रेटी साइड था अब एक ही रॉ में होता है पहले लाइब्रेटीज एंड देन एसेट्स लाइब्रेटीज में भी ये होता है कि नॉन करंट लाइब्रेटीज देन करंट लाइब्रेटीज एंड एसेट में नॉन करंट एसेट देन करंट एसेट और जो uh, आपका कुछ भी एक्सप्लेनेशन लाइक like कंटेंजेंट से रिलेटेड तो वो आपको नोट्स ऑफ अकाउंट्स में शो करना पड़ेगा I'm not sure in that. What is a one-person company? The major change one in nineteen fifty-six to two thousand thirteen. Nineteen fifty-six one person uh, does not include the one-person company, but two thousand thirteen company is acted to include. What is the one-person company? One-person company uh, where there is only one uh, one person who is running the business. and uh, in the general meeting and for all the legal activities one person is valid for yeah, general but, meeting what is the need for one person company when sole proprietor and partnership uh, firms are already there sir according to me one per, uh, company in itself is a legal person so that's why opc has been included in 2013 like uh, they have their own common seal and uh, in 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 the definition of law there is a legal person See, what, is the benefit, but, what is the benefit to one person company uh, if a one person can uh, run their business in the sole proprietor and partnership firm sorry sir i don't know what is the difference between cost volume profit and break even analysis break in break even point is a situation where the where there is no profit no loss situation in a business and cost volume uh, i don't know what is uh, the difference between internal control and external audit internal control when inside the company company wants to ensure that every every activity uh, is under compliance then internal control system is um, conducted by company in which the employee of the company uh, the ca who can be the employee of a company monitors all the activities and in external control uh, external audit the ca can be only a, a company an independent auditor who will audit of the uh, business of company what are the various income tax labs so there are uh, uh, slabs uh, there are three slabs like uh, for uh, a residential individual 2.5 to 5 lakh up to 2.5 lakh there is no tax 2.5 to 5 lakh 10% 5 lakh to 10 lakh 20% and above that 30% and in case of a senior citizen uh, 3 lakh uh, is the basic exemption limit and in case of super citizen 
super senior citizen who is more than 80 year uh, age then 5 lakh is the minimum exemption limit and in case of a company there is flat 30% tax what is the basic limit maximum limit of esi deduction for a company employee esi 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 uh, related to uh, medical of uh, what uh, is the maximum salary slab for ESI fifteen thousand and what is the slab for EPF EPF I think same fifteen thousand EF days uh i i'm not sure about pf limit what are the two bases of accounting what is the difference between this accrual basis and the cash basis of accounting okay. so on cash basis when and uh, jab hum real cash mein koi expense karte hain ya apan ko cash receive hota hai tabhi hum uski accounting karte hain but accrual basis mein agar apan apne सेल कर दी बट उसका पेमेंट अभी अपन को रिसीव नहीं हुआ तो भी अपन उसे एज पर अप्रूवल बेसिस उसको अकाउंट करेंगे बुक्स में इन द सेम केस ऑफ पेमेंट अगर आपने कोई कोई एक्सपेंस कर दिया है पर उसको पे नहीं किया है इन कैश तो भी हम उसको अप्रूवल बेसिस पे के बेसिस पे अकाउंट अकाउंट कर लेते हैं तो हम जो कंपनी अकाउंट्स हैं वो कैश बेसिस पे तैयार करते हैं या अप्रूवल बेसिस पे अप्रूवल बेसिस पर एज पर द इनकम टैक्स एक्ट एज पर द इनकम टैक्स एक्ट आपका जो डेप्रीशियन मेथड विच मेथड इज एक्सेप्टेबल इन द इनकम टैक्स एक्ट ऑन ड्यू बेसिस कौन सा ड्यू ड्यू नहीं ड्यू बेसिस नहीं डेप्रीशियन मेथड ओके डेप so i need to tell the methods of depreciation no 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 method of depreciation are there there a straight line method and a reducing value method return on value mm -hmm. method mm -hmm. according to the income tax act the income tax act uh, which method is acceptable for the companies okay in income tax basis there are uh, there are five heads in which p and l and i income from other sources uh, the nahi 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 mera question lag gaya मेरा क्वेश्चन है कि इनकम टैक्स एक्ट के अकॉर्डिंगली अक्रूवल बेसिस पे नो नो पहले क्वेश्चन ओके माय क्वेश्चन इज इनकम टैक्स एक्ट के अकॉर्डिंगली कंपनी अकाउंट्स में कौन सा डेप्रीशिएशन मेथड एक्सेप्टेबल है रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू मेथड और द स्ट्रेट लाइन मेथड डब्ल्यू मेथड डब्ल्यू Sorry, sir. I interrupted. What is the benefit of uh, notes to accounts? Why don't we include this information in our main statements? So, in main uh, in, in balance sheet, we can't. We there is a summarized balance sheet is a summarized. Uh, statement of uh, accounts on a particular date so if we have any explanation related to any particular item then you have to show it in notes on accounts not on the face of balance sheet what is the benefit of brs bank reconciliation statement bank reconciliation statement is uh, uh, made for for the for matching to know the difference between passbook uh, bank balance and our uh, according to our uh, according to our books bank balance if there is any difference then we can verify that difference by preparing drs for example what are the, okay. what are the causes uh, of difference between the passbook and the cash book balance uh, there uh, there can be many reasons for example uh, if a party has directly deposited check in bank then they they may be difference because it got deposited in bank but not uh, yet entered in our cash second one if there is any uh, interest has been charged by bank 
but we have uh, until and unless we have haven't we have not seen uh, bank statement we uh, there will be difference of that charge and the third one for example any collection of check has been made by uh, third party but we we are not known to that fact and what is the difference between uh, bills of exchange and uh, checks bills of exchange and checks of exchange bills of exchange and checks okay bills of exchange is an instrument which is prepared by a provi uh, for insured uh, for insurety that after a certain time you will pay that money and in check uh, sir majorly i can't i'm i know but i'm not able to tell the difference who uh, bills of exchange is prepared by who sorry sir buyer or the seller bills of exchange is prepared by buyer or the bills of exchange is prepared by buyer or seller bills of exchange is prepared by seller and is it, it who is, is uh, who will collect the payment and check is prepared by sir your voice is not आपकी रेंज आपका कैमरा कम आ रहा है चलो ओके बेटा ओके रेनो वी गो फॉर द फीडबैक अकॉर्डिंग टू मी जब आपने सी ए इंटर किया है बायर चेक इज प्रिपेयर बाय द ओनर ऑफ लाइक इफ वी हैव एनी बैंक अकाउंट देन वी वी हैव चेक बुक एंड दैट पर्सन कैन ओनली means it may check is prepared by the buyer na sir voice is not clear aapki range kam hai beta chalo uh, let us go for the feedback hello you able to listen me hello yes sir kya jo ca aapko awaaz aa rahi hai meri hello जो आपने हाँ सीए इंटर की है वो ठीक है लेकिन आपकी जो लेटेस्ट नॉलेज है उसमें थोड़ा डिफरेंस है जो भी मैंने आपको इनकम टैक्स की स्लैब्स के बारे में पूछा ईएसआई का पूछा और ईपीएफ का पूछा वो सारा आप मेरे को पुरानी इन्फॉर्मेशन दे रहे हो इनकम टैक्स की स्लैब्स चेंज हो चुकी है ईएसआई भी जो था वो तीन साल पहले था फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड ऑफ ट्वेंटी हो चुकी है उसकी स्लैब्स और जो ई है वो टेन परसेंट ऑफ बेसिक सैलरी इट मीन मेरे को ये लग रहा है कि आपने जब सी ए इंटर किया और अब जो है इसमें थोड़ा गैप है तो इसमें जो जो चेंजेस हुई हैं अकाउंटिंग में उसके बारे okay. में आप थोड़ी सी और तैयारी कीजिए क्योंकि ये बेसिक चीजें हैं जो आपने वहां पे काम करना है और ये बेसिक क्वेश्चन है स्पेशली ई एस आई ई पी एफ तो ये इसके बारे में आप थोड़ी सी और तैयारी कीजिए ठीक है